Yo, what's up guys? I have another video for you guys today and this one has actually been quite requested in my Instagram DMs, in Facebook Messenger, comment section on YouTube, and sometimes even email. This is a comparison video on Versace Deal in Blue and Dior Sauvage EDT. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we have a comparison video between Dylan Blue and Dior Sauvage EDT. Which one of these is better? Which one do I prefer? And what are the strong points and weak points of each fragrances? Okay, it's gonna be quite easy to compare these two, but it's also gonna be quite difficult to tell you guys exactly which one is better because each of them do have their strong points and weak points. And being that they are in the same category and the scent DNA is also very very similar, it's just gonna be an overall interesting perspective to to dive into. Now I'm going to talk about everything, of course, the scent, performance, versatility, complement factor, price points, everything. So let's dive right in to the scent category first. Starting off with the scent, let's talk about Dior Sauvage first. This one is Ambroxan and Bergamot and Pepper. So that, those are the three main notes you're going to get off of this fragrance. The Bergamot and the Ambroxan is the strongest talking point when it comes to this fragrance. The Pepper kind of adds a little bit of a, like a darkness, a little singiness, a little spiciness that just adds on top of the freshness of the Ambroxan and the Bergamot but it's not the strongest note in there. This is definitely more fresh, more bright than Dylan Blue right here, which I'll explain in a second. But it just smells really bright, super shower jerry-like fragrance. It's probably one of the freshest fragrances ever released in recent years when it comes to the fragrance rolls. It just smells really good. And if you just like to smell clean and smell really presentable to almost everyone out there, Dior Sauvage is one of those fragrances that will just work for you. That's what it's made for. It's made for the mass public. It's made to be mass appealing. It's made to just please as many people as you can. So that's what Dior Sauvage is for. Next we have Dylan Blue. Now this is slightly more different than Dior Sauvage because it does smell a bit darker. It still has that ambroxany type of feel. This one was an interpretation of, of Dior Sauvage. If you guys don't know that already, this one came out first. This one, Dylan Blue, came out not long after. Because of how successful Dior Sauvage is, a lot of companies try to make fragrances in that direction like Bulgari Aqua Lantique, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, and also Dylan Blue. And this one, one is different in terms of the base notes. It's darker. It's not as light and fresh as Dior Sauvage. Don't get me wrong, this is also a really fresh shower jerry like fragrance, but it has a lot more darker nuances. The patchouli really shows. It really, really shows. It makes the base really heavy. It feels to me also a little bit more synthetic. Like when I smell these two side by side, Sauvage actually smells more high quality. It smells like it has really nice ingredients in there. It just smells really good. Although both of them smell synthetic, don't get me wrong. There's gonna be people in the comment section who say, Oh, Timmy, how can you say Savage smells like not as synthetic? It is synthetic, but if I had to pick one that is more synthetic than the other one, Dylan Blue definitely smells more synthetic than Dior Savage. Now, that's not a knock on Dylan Blue, it still smells great, but if I had to pick one that smells like it's more high quality, Savage would be the high quality one. Now, in terms of scent for Dylan Blue, again, it does have a darker base note, it has, still has the same freshness up top, still fresh, still shower gel, but the darkness there really gives it its own kind of character. It's like you're mixing Dior Sauvage with Aqua Di Gio Profumo. You're mixing Dior Sauvage top note with Aqua Di Gio Profumo's base note and you get Dylan Blue essentially. It just smells good. Again, another mass appealing scent. You can wear it anytime. It's made to be mass appealing and it does its job well. In that regard, both of these fragrances does their job of being mass appealing. Now, in terms of which one is my favorite, if I had to pick one, in terms of scent, I would have to go for Dior Sauvage. I just like Dior Sauvage more. It smells less scratchy to my nose. I've always been a bigger fan of Dior Sauvage than Dylan Blue. As you can see, Dior Sauvage for me is almost half gone. Dylan Blue is just, you know, still at the top. I don't wear this often because every time I want to wear this or want to wear a shower gel like fragrance, I always reach for Sauvage or Sauvage EDP or Sauvage Very Cool Spray. To me, those fragrances just smells better than Dylan Blue. I don't like the patchouli in this one because to me it comes off a little bit too pungent sometimes. Like you can easily overspray this, that's the case. It just smells too pungent, too dark, and I like when I want to wear a fresh shower gel fragrance, I want it to smell fresh. Really, really fresh bright and invigorating. I don't need any darker tones in it at all. Like I just don't want too many of that. And Dior Sauvage just works better for me personally. So so yeah, my opinion in terms of scent, I would go for Dior Sauvage. Next we have the performance and let me run through this really quickly. It's Sauvage EDT lasts on my skin around seven to nine hours. Projection about three to four hours. Projection on this is also very strong. It's around this area. It gives you a really nice cloud of Ambroxan and Bergamot. Really good. You will definitely get noticed with that. You won't have any complaints with the 
Dior Sauvage whatsoever. It's a great performing fresh fragrance. Now, Dylan Blue, same scenario. Lasts around seven to nine hours. Projection also very, very strong, even more so than Dior Sauvage EDT. And that's where this fragrance wins for me. It's a performance. The strength of the projection of this fragrance is just monstrous. This one is already a monster fresh projector. This one is even more so of a monster. It's just, it's so easy to overspray Dylan Blue. This one is not so easy to overspray. I wear three to four spray of this and I'm completely fine. No complaints whatsoever. But this one, I wouldn't dare wear more than two. Like I wear two of this and it's already so strong. Like it chokes me out sometimes. This is how strong Dylan Blue is. So three to four spray of this would definitely be a no-go for me. So in the performance department, just by a small margin, Dylan Blue takes the cake. Next one, we have the versatility, the season. When can you wear these fragrances? Dior Sauvage is a fragrance that you can wear year round. Doesn't matter the season. It's fresh enough for the summer and also performs well enough for the winter. Indoors, outdoors, doesn't matter at all. In terms of vacation, it works for anything you can really think of. Work, nights out, club, dates, anything. It's a nice signature fresh fragrance. There's no time in this world where you don't want to smell like you just freshly came out of the shower. It just smells really nice, okay? Nice clean shower gel. There's no bad time to wear it. Now, Dylan Blue, again, same scenario with Dior Sauvage. You can wear it anytime. Summer, fall, winter, spring. Works just perfect. Now, I did say one thing. The darker notes in Dylan Blue makes me not want to wear it in the high heat of summer. Dior Sauvage can definitely be worn in a high heat. Dylan Blue, I don't recommend in the super, super high heat because the darker notes are just too much. In the summertime, I would wear this only in the evening. So in that regard, season-wise, I feel like Dior Sauvage is more versatile. But in terms of occasion, work, date, club, nights out, same thing. You can wear Dylan Blue in exchange with Dior Sauvage. Either of these ones would work in any occasion. But if I had to pick the winner for this category, the slightest edge, this is like by such a small margin, Dior Sauvage wins just because it works better in the daytime summer than Dylan Blue, okay? It's very, very small margin, but I do have to pick a winner, and that is Dior Sauvage. Next category, we have the common factor, and I'm gonna do this in ratio, okay? Because I wore Dior Sauvage a lot more, so of course I got a lot more compliments with Dior Sauvage than I do Dylan Blue. But ratio-wise and percentage-wise, based off my memory, I get the same amount of compliments with Dylan Blue as I do with Dior Sauvage. And that's a given. When it performs pretty much the same, it smells almost identical, and it works almost the same situation, it's in the same scent family. It's a no-brainer why it would get similar compliments. And in this category, I can't really give a clear winner because they both really work. They're both mass appealing type of fragrances. People love both of these fragrances off my skin. I just prefer this one more in terms of scent, but compliment-wise, in percentage, these two are tied. Last category before we summarize the video, we have the price point. Now, Dior Sauvage is $70 for 100 ml, if I'm not mistaken. This is a 60 ml bottle. So 100 ml of Dior Sauvage, I think runs for around $70. Last I checked online, 60 to $70. So it is quite an expensive scent. It is on the upper tier of designer fragrance. Dylan Blue, 100 ml runs for around $50, 50 to $60. So it is around 10 to $20 cheaper than Dior Sauvage. In terms of price wise and value and practice, Practicality. Since these two are very similar in all the other categories, the price, I would have to say, the best value, the best bang for your buck has to go to Dylan Blue because it is $10 to $20 cheaper and you get pretty much almost the same type of fragrance. A fragrance that you can wear generally anytime, a fragrance that performs really well, a fragrance that gets a lot of good compliments. You get the same type of value out of these two fragrances, just Dylan Blue is cheaper, hence in the price department, this one wins. All right, that's it for this battle video. Let's summarize the results here. This hand is for Dylan Blue. This hand is for Dior Sauvage, okay? In the scent department, my opinion, I prefer Dior Sauvage. It just smells more fresh. It smells better. It smells less synthetic. I prefer that one more. In the performance department, winning by just a small margin just because it projects better, Dylan Blue. That one just projects like a beast. Again, I only wore one to two sprays of Dylan Blue, but three to four sprays of Dior Sauvage, okay? Next category, versatility. This one goes to, again, slightest, slightest, margin Dior Sauvage just because Dylan Blue has a darker nose to patchouli it doesn't really work all too well in the summer heat like I find that a little bit too cloying Dior Sauvage just works better in that regard and in all the other aspect of occasion both of them works just fine so slightest edge goes to Dior Sauvage for that one next category compliments they both get a point for this one because it's a tie I get just as much compliments with Dylan Blue as I do with Dior Sauvage in Rachel and percentage wise okay so both of them get a point for that last category we have the price point and the price point goes to Dylan Blue. Again, these two fragrances offer the same type of practical value, practical usage. They're 
so similar, just Dylan Blue is 10 to $20 cheaper. So the price point goes to, and that brings us to a score of three and three. They're a tie, they're really a tie. So who's the actual winner? Which one should you go out and buy? That's the real question for today. That's the real reason why you watch this video because you want to actually be able to make a purchase decision. Which one should you go and buy? In my honest opinion, since these two are pretty much the same in everything besides the scent, I would say that just pick the one that you love the most. If you love to smell of Dylan Blue more, buy Dylan Blue. If you love to smell of Dior Sauvage more, buy Dior Sauvage. You won't miss out on anything else when it comes to versatility, compliments, or performance. You won't miss out on any of those things if you pick either or it, it, they're, they're pretty much very similar okay just pick one that you think smells the best for you if you like darker notes in fresh fragrances go with dylan blue if you like fresh fragrances to remain just really fresh go with dior sauvage it's as simple as that go to your local sephora or any store ask them for some free samples take it home wear them for a couple days and see which one you like more and make the purchase accordingly again other than scent you won't miss out on any other benefit in any other categories at all okay just pick the one that you love the most and go with that all right guys that's it for this video today thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a happy holiday. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out and bye.